Welcome to a quick Unity 3D Asset Store review and in this video we're going to be checking out the Rome Fantasy Pack 1 from Quantum Theory. It is beautiful to look at and it's on a crazy 30% sale all this week, the first week of August. Right, so without further ado, let's pop inside Unity and check it out. Here I am inside Unity 3D, I loaded up the sample demo scene and I had to install the old Unity cinematics effect and I played about I put a first person controller in from standard assets let's walk about our scene and see what it's like okay so first of all what we can see is everything looks quite beautiful these these models as you expect are pretty fantastic these barrels straight away by my feet the floor itself the ground the pebbles Oh, everything. That chest. Oh, <laughs> everything looks fantastic. I'm just looking at the workmanship on on this here. I mean, I've got a few of these type of wagons, carts already. But one thing that I always like to look for is the artist who puts a little wear and tear, and you can't get more wear and tear than that. That looks beautiful. That looks like it's it's been used. His bench, benches and the anvil, everything, oh little coins, Just look at those little, little details, little coins down there, wow, okay, there's no scripts or animations attached to this I don't think, are they, there's nothing, nothing plays on it, maybe there are, maybe they're not, we can just add those, um, I just, it looks amazing so far. Walls. Look at these textures. Look at that. Look at the brickwork up there. It really feels like we're in Rome. I've been a few times and this. It, oh, look at that. That is lovely. That is nice. There's a. Um, that's, I like, oh, look at the wood on there. I'm a little disappointed on that bit of iron work on the wood there but save a few polys you can't have everything um, wow there we are a lot of, I mean can we walk around and see all the props that we get in here that looks oh look at that door even look at me just sitting there looking at the door showing you the door look at this door look oh, look at that door Bloody beautiful what are we getting over here let's have a look Got our baskets. All right, baskets were a little bit too um, too clean and too basic, like Google SketchUp baskets. Um, but as this, on the other hand, looks much nicer. So um, odd, odd. I mean, lots of things look beautiful, and ones that don't really stand out like a sore thumb. You don't belong here. Like you look at these and you go, that's a bit weird. So um. Back to beautiful walls. Quite very, there's varying different textures for the walls. Just really break up the effect of this cityscape, this little town. Oh, it's, look at that! Can we go up there? Oh, look at the wind just blowing. Wow, that cloth! You just want to reach out with your hand and just touch it. So what have we got in here? Let's go inside. Little stores. Okay, this is. Uh, I, I bought this and had no use for it, and now I need to find a use for it because it's just so beautiful. Let's get some fruit to eat. Nice. Look at these vases. Beautiful looking vases. It's just going to be me walking around Rome. This is a video of me walking around the streets of ancient Rome, looking at pieces of cloth bellowing. Look at that. Worn out in the middle. Look at that lovely door. Another lovely bit of porcelain there. Oh, look at that! It's that lovely vases they got here. Even that that little wooden bench that gets me excited. Okay, just can't get his rope texture looking nice for me. 
So also we've got, we've got little smoky little particle effects. Right, let's go for let's go for more of a walk around the room and see what we're gonna find. Because so far it looks lovely. Look up here. That looks nice. Barrels, more barrels, more pots. Scratches on the bits of wood. What's this over here? Oh, nice plates. What's up? It's just a real game here. That's an empty shop. Oh, an alleyway. Don't go down here by yourself late at night. Just be some people just hanging around here waiting to come out and jump you as you're going around doing your shopping. Well, see, this is a much nicer effect on this window here than the one we saw down at the bottom. That is a difference. And here it is. That's the one I don't like. See I don't like that. It just doesn't doesn't work for me. What's over here? Did we already go in there? I think we already went in there, don't we? It's getting exciting. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that gate. A little that craftsmanship. Oh nice. And oh, you can see inside. It's inside there. It's inside there. I wonder. Look at the look at the mosaics in the floor. Beautiful, beautiful mosaics. And another. I won't reach my hand out to touch that. It's beautiful. Wow! Look at that floor. It just feels so alive. I just, I didn't, oh, you didn't notice this one here. Look at this. These tiling here. Wow. Okay. So, so there's just too much that you don't really appreciate in just walking around. And look at all these props that you get. These are a lot of props. Again, don't really appreciate that little lamp. And um, it's got these steps. Okay. Wonder who lives in there. I want to find out. What's this? Oh, weird. Okay, invisible steps. We're going up to heaven. So that's just freaked me out. It's, um, obviously, those steps should be placed there. Maybe there's something going on with the mesh. It's weird. I expect that to be my demo scene, but let's move on. Again, oh, you again. Hello, we're using this gate that works so well. It's a lovely demo. I mean, there's a lot of effort's gone into this demo scene alone. And you know that someone's going to just put this on Steam and make a game in this demo scene. Because you're going to still see, see that bug in someone's game. Wow. Okay. This is just. This is lovely. Bucket full of slop. Well, ancient Rome. Looks lovely, I have to say. Oh, someone's left the door ajar. Oh, I just wanted to bust in there. Oh, these are all just exteriors. Everything we're getting are exteriors. Have we gone back to the beginning? We've gone back to it again. Let's go down here then. So it makes you there's such a high quality, it makes you want to come inside alone and just check out what's going on inside these houses. Um okay. Floor looks like it's missing. Let's not go in there, we might not be able to get out. This is a variation on that gate, the gate's open. You get a tree. Um, again, the floor seems to be missing. It's another odd little bug. Um, can we climb on this roof? Whoa! No. No, we can't. Alright, so there's no colliders on this roof. That's annoying. That's a bit annoying. So the colliders there, at the front of it, but not on the top of it. Okay, so if you're going to give me a exterior of ancient Rome, let's let me explore the exterior of ancient Rome. That's annoying. Can I jump onto this? Yeah, at least we don't go through the fence. And once again, more missing floors. And um, can we climb up this ladder? I'm going to say no. Now we just go through the ladder. And let's see if the previous one was a glitch. It's not a glitch. We can. Oh! We're on the roof. We're on the roof. And nice. Maybe that one was just a glitch. Let's go back on the roof. And I'm stuck. Okay, that's weird. Maybe now it's just a box collider at the front stopping me from going. Okay. 
What's that? Oh no. So you want if you jump further enough, then you go through. And now let's try and get back out. Okay. So not everything has got a collider. That's a little bit annoying. Okay. Because that means that you're going to have to put them in yourself. Oh, well, obviously, once you put them in the prefab, then job's done. But still, lazy like me, you just want it to be out of the box. Okay. So, and if you weren't going to use it, you can just disable it on the prefab. So, um, anyway, this is pretty damn beautiful. And again, you just can't, you can't look at everything. You look at the floor, the floor looks fantastic. The little puddles and watermarks and the pebbles. The walls look fantastic. Textures, the textures on this are beautiful. You have to say that the textures. A lot of work that's gone into the models and a lot of work that's gone into the textures here. But little things, sometimes the occasional dodgy looking texture, the occasional dodgy model that just doesn't look like it belongs, like these baskets. So now we need to give it a score out of 5. Well, we need to see, based on its retail price, $85, is it worth it? Well, $85, it is it is worth it without a shadow of a doubt at five dollars if you're looking for ancient Rome exterior pack or if you're looking for an Renaissance from exterior pack well I don't think you can get much better than this it is props textures exteriors cityscape this is um, you know you don't get interiors but it doesn't pretend that you're going to get interiors so you can't mark it down on that this is an exterior pack even this look up look up at the sky it is beautiful so um, is it worth getting on a 30% off sale? Well, bite your own hand off to get this at 30% off, I'd reckon. Even if you've got no use for it, buy it because you never know we're going to need a quaint little village town like this. I mean, I've come across ones like this even when I've been on holiday. Um, right, so out of five, I'm going to give this, well, because of the uh, some of the issues that I don't like, some of the textures are one or two, and some of the models I just don't think fit in. And well, the prefabs, you know, these could have had some more colliders on them so you can run around the roofs like Assassin's Creed. I'm going to say four and a half gladiators out of five. Comparing this to other things that I've reviewed, I mean, some of the stuff that I've reviewed have been pretty damn good, but this is just a level apart. This is AAA, this is like, you know, Assassin's Creed style. You are looking at some pretty damn beautiful models and textures. In fact, this demo scene, the effort that's gone into this demo scene is pretty fantastic. And that's pretty much as high as I've gone so far on any of my reviews. That is so close to five, you can just taste it. Before we leave, I've loaded up a plank scene to show you just how much cool stuff we get with this kit and to show you the difference between the pre built prefabs and the meshes that you get so you can make your own prefabs. So, you do get some prefabs. You get prefabs for ground items, and you get here you go, some prefabs for different props, fence, and a lantern, and a trunk. So you get all of these prefabs, um, which doesn't seem a lot, does it, for the size of this kit? Um, architecture, you get some modular prefabs for doors you get some prefabs for bits of roof again doesn't look like a lot and windows you get some prefabs for windows again only four doesn't seem like a lot pre-built you got some pre-built houses but again it's quite a few, well the houses there's quite a few but doesn't seem like a lot which made me a bit confused until that is you pop inside the meshes folder and you see that you've got food now your apples and cabbages you've got a lot more in the ground folder you've got a lot more props so much that you've got subfolders for nature props interiors and blacksmith props you've got um, more, well, not much done this, but you've got more decals and architecture. You've got more pre-built 
and you've got a lot more modular you've even got walls if you want to go and make your own walls so and even parts of walls see it's the top part there lots of things so if you, the reason why you've got all of this is so you can pretty much build whatever you want with this kit you're not restricted the prefabs are only a few and that's just to get you going they've got tutorials on YouTube showing you how you can use this kit fully and take advantage of all of this cool stuff that you get with this kit so now that we know just how much we're going to play with let's pop inside the demo scene and see what we can find guys if you do like these reviews well please click subscribe and check out all my other reviews call all your neighbors and your friends and then if you do like it click it till next time and if you like this video and you want to see more click on that nice big red subscribe button that's down below and on the left side of your screen hopefully there's some videos playing so why don't you just give them a click and see what it's all about remember if you like it click it